And let's head across to be brethren. We hear you know, Marco and Hush. Marco and Hush. I'm going to put it up right here and give a little info one time. It's all about the release weekend. Saturday the 25th and Sunday the 26th. Oh, the Mr. good Chakras old days yeah. cooler edition too. So you yeah. all have had it before. Yes, yes, we did. We did. And it was really, really an uh, epic event. And mm -hmm. we're just trying to, you know, establish on where we left off, mm -hmm. make it bigger. Last year was not cooler. We add the cooler. We're mm -hmm. going to add some more ambience. We add some more artists. You know, we bring in John Melody, John Melody to bridge the gap. Yeah. We also have the great Super Blue running Macintosh. Mm -hmm. Then we have those in between Oscar B, Roger George, mm -hmm. yeah. and we bring in some foreign acts, Patrick Ulysses. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, and in between that, we follow in our mandate. I say in we because it's myself alongside Next Level Production. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we incorporate in upcoming acts. Okay. Because, you know, that is part of my whole, you know, idea for entertainment to give people who come up in entertainment the opportunity, an opportunity and a platform mm -hmm. to not just perform but to perform alongside be great we, we, we're gonna have two live band you know we, we just introduced um vogue the band trisha hamilton okay yeah it's a new band and you know they're doing their thing young young people again so we're opening up that platform for them mm -hmm. and then we have a couple other bands and we have a parang band from the area there too and you know it's just it's just Greatness on that night, you know? I don't know. And then yeah. the next day, we jump across to the Mac One Hush. Hush, oh, boy, when they don't know. The show that ruffles this, a lot of others. This is your, <laughs> this is your fourth one. Fourth show. And, you know, I'm really excited about this one because I'm going to be doing my special. Because the other shows, I never really get to do a full set. You know, I had to run off the stage. You know, I get the like, you know. Come on, because as I started getting into my set I had to stop. Mm -hmm. So this time, you know, I kinda lessened down on the, 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 the cast and some of the You wanna you wanna showcase more of what NCW can Yes. So my special is called Forty. Because obviously, you know, I'm catching up to you. Oh. <laughs> Wait now, you know turning forty? Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't get talk about being with somebody looking by half your age and thing on the industry? Nikki, oh, you just get you get like that's your father. Listen, I, mean, I just play with you. No, but it's true. <laughs> people used to. From um, the first time is your you height, I guess. Eh? Up until now, people were like, nah, you're advantageous. You're yeah, really I used good. to get a lot. Now, wow. told man, boy, you're wicked, boy. Yeah, you look like you've been through, yeah. you know, you had a little struggle. You had a little. You have a testimony. <laughs> you look like you have a testimony. <laughs> what is that mean, JD? No, you don't look old. Yeah. You look but like you have young. a powerful <laughs> testimony. <laughs> I think I think it's you know it have to do a lot with my size and my height being six five. Forty is a blessing to reach yeah, forty, brother. Yeah. And you you're not just forty out here, you're forty, you have your wife. How much yeah. kids you have? Um with my wife? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going on here, but that sounded like trouble. How much kids? How much how many kids you have with your wife that's Nisa next have to you? Pot oil <laughs> I have three boys have confirmed. Three confirmed, he say. Three boys confirmed. You know, they say yeah. mother's baby, father's what maybe. What, that, what does that even mean? No, you don't have four boys? Well, I think I count four. Is that four? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I say three confirmed. I sure about three. Huh? I confused. We all had on? wild days, you know? But nobody never came forward, thank the Lord. What's going on? <laughs> What no, this is going where I did not expect it to what be. What happened in here, Shamika? All right, so. I feel when I make that first million. Then I'll be like, you know, you have a son. <laughs> I feel so. I feel so, you know. Just right. to do for the record. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> right, Makonash, you want to see more? You want to step forward yes. and give more of your talent? Yes. So, 40 minutes, 40 is the special. And I want to, you know, take, uh, take, take you all through a journey, mm -hmm. you know, of NCW, you know, and, you know, what it takes to reach 40 and my experience approaching 40 and how I feel and, and how different it is from in my 20s and my teens. So the, the set is around, you know, me and, and life in general. And of course, I will put a little social media, mm -hmm. back and all in the mix, a little current affairs, mm -hmm. a little politics. Not to deep, dig too deep into anything, but the, the set is well-rounded. And, and as I rehearse, I only start rehearsal this month. I tweak, I tweak, I tweak until I, you know, so... I'm really looking forward 
to it. And of course, I'm looking forward to giving an opportunity to all the other comedians and the cast, Gabriel Bridge Mahan, Kevin Sawyer, big up Kevin, you know, have, he have a show yeah, on the Kevin 11, mm -hmm. you know, please go out and support because we're all about supporting everyone in the right. industry, not just comedy. And well, I don't know where she'll be in this segment, but I don't know if you'll see where she'll be in this segment, but you have oh, the beautiful Nisa, Nisa oh, is going to be. How could I forget? Well, I don't oh, know. That is all right. That is all right. Woman yes. house. <laughs> oh, God, Miss <laughs> Anubas, we yes. And yes, you know, I had Jaron Nurse. Um, twice already. Yeah. So, so I wanted to, you know, one, bring somebody in the gospel because mm -hmm. I'm not a heavy church person, but I always believe in the creator and I always believe in blessing the shows and all these different things. And I think Lisa would have been a great fit I'm watching her progress. You know, she have a show coming up and everything. And I just, you know, a big fan of J JD and Lisa. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I felt like it was the perfect time for Lisa to come in and give that blessings to the show mm -hmm. so that's why i added nisa to the cast and i'm really excited if it had booked me i'd like you would not be able to afford me <laughs> you know it's my brother yeah but yeah uh, yeah can't afford take it on man yeah that voice yeah. is Should something good that, i don't think i could afford that voice <laughs> <laughs> SW. talk to me now we get in it how do you deal with this new found and i use the word fame lightly yeah right how do you deal with this new found fame well JD, to be honest, I, I kind of know what I was signing up for. So I, for the most of it, you know, I, I, I take it in with good strides. Mm -hmm. But there, there are moments, you know, when you're with your family, you might be in the mall, you're trying to eat something, you're trying to have a little conversation, and, you know, people will just come up to you and they'll be like, yeah, I see that way. But I don't show no face, I don't show no, you know, I try to you know be cool with it you know what i mean right. but i signed up for this yeah she didn't uh, we, we have some questions yeah. for nikki nikki going yeah. nowhere you understand yeah. so babe you sign up for it you cool it so most of the time you know i would be normal and she may have a little slight issue with some of the mm -hmm. things especially you know social media slander and all these different yeah. things you know it you know i know what i was signing up for you know but you really know that when you started this career, mm -hmm. that somewhere along the lines you would be humil humili how is it? humiliated. How's it? Humiliated. Oh God, really, thank you. Yes. And you were prepared. Yes, and I, I was prepared for me. I wasn't prepared for my wife and children being dragged in it. Right? Of and course, I knew, wife and children, I mean, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. I knew it would happen, I knew when it would happen, the attack. Because I was doing videos for a number of years, a couple of years, and nobody attacked me. From the time I had my first sellout show, two weeks before the date, the attacks that. So let me ask this. You said that before you started, yeah. you knew that it would come with the territory. Yes. What, what prepared you for that? I kind of plan everything. So I study the internet and i i watch different scenarios and i learn from other people's experiences and in this kind of crab in the barrel mentality we okay. have a trying to be go is it is expected once you making that leap mm -hmm. you know the hate will come you know you felt so i knew mm -hmm. in hindsight is there anything that you would do differently well no i i would want to sell out a show again <laughs> <laughs> Because that one. is what I did. Good one. And that is where the hate started from. You know, it literally, you know, we're not calling anything that is live, but literally somebody went on a live with somebody else when my show was so loud and they literally spoke about me not being a comedian, why the country supported me. And, you know, this is literally where it all started. You understand? Trying not supporting anything, what joke they write, what stage they went on. At the end of the day, you know, it was expected and, you know, I, I don't have any regrets right. about how I deal with it. You know, I just, I just regret that my wife had to be dragged into it. We will talk about that in a little yeah. bit. We're going yeah. to go to the break. Nikki's here. Nikki looks like the this, this silent fighter. <laughs> I don't know. She just looks like... Yeah, she give it I can just think, <laughs> Like, I just in the background, but anytime I need to jump out, I will just jump out. I'm ready up. for them. Yeah, they, but we're going to talk to her. Of course, her husband is here as well. Marco and Hush. Um, and of course, the good old days.